Welcome back. Well, you know, every Tuesday night we give you an inside look at the homes of the rich and famous here on the island, taking you inside mansions and estates most of us can only dream about. So tonight we're going to do something a little different. Valerie Kellogg is Newsday's LI Home Editor and a contributor to the column Rich Cribs that appears in the paper every Friday. Welcome, Valerie. I'm excited about what you have in store for us tonight. Yeah, me too. Um, we're going to look at spectacular homes with wine cellars um, that have great wine cellars. You know, when we have a summer party, we just uh, put out some uh, wine and a, and a tub of ice, but there are Long Islanders that have entire collections and need a place to put them somewhere. So here are some of them. All right, we've got a nice home. You're going to show us this one first, right? Yes, um, we've got one in Sagaponic. It's this house is a newly built 10,000 square foot home that's on the market for 21.9 million dollars, and uh, this has this spread has a sunken tennis court, a heated saltwater pool with a spa wow. and automatic cover, and there's all kinds of other stuff like a built-in barbecue with a fireplace, two pool houses, one of which has a kitchen, Beautiful. and there's that really awesome widow's walk at the top that has its own wet bar and views of the ocean, um, and just so you know, the tennis court can also to be used as a basketball court because it's got hoops. Oh, nice. And, yeah, and inside there's a home theater with a planetarium-like ceiling, a media center, a bar area, a recreational room, and a gym with a steam room and a sauna. Um, the wine cellar is uh, something to take in. It's, it fits 737 bottles of wine, and oh. it's made of cedar and has slate floors, and it's temperature controlled. Nice. You could spend a lot of time in there doing some damage. Now, next we're going to see a home <laughs> sure. in Brookville. Yes, this is a 5,500 square foot house, about half the size of the one we just looked at. It's got six bedrooms and six baths, a stately brick colonial. It's on the market for 3.495 million, and it's on 2.26 acres with a heated pool and a tennis court that the owners just resurfaced in blue to look like uh, the one used at the U.S. Open. Um, the lower level is something; it looks really professional. It has its own entertainment center. There's a bar with an ice maker and two refrigerators and two humidor drawers. I, I really want those in my house. <laughs> and, and an exhaust system so that when you, when you have a stogie, you don't smell it. And um, a, that pool table with the cold lighting and a nearby game room. Um, upstairs, um, there's a TV room outside the master bedroom with six TVs and leather seats and a karaoke machine because there are all kinds of sports games playing in that house. Um, the wine cellar is da back down in the, in the lower level and it's, it's sort of a continuous continuation of the bar. It um, uh, holds 450 bottles and it's temperature, temperature controlled and has floor to ceiling shelving. Now this one you get the humidor for the man in the house or the lady if she likes that one and you get six televisions in one room and the wine cellar? Yeah, that's, that's, that's where I want to live. Oh, all right. Now our third pick tonight is in Huntington. Yes. Um, the asking price for this house is a bottle short of a million. It's on the market for 999000 It's a colonial with cute little details and um, six bedrooms and five baths. Um, the deck in the back is amazing. It's overlooking the heated in-ground pool, and those awnings are removable, but I don't, I don't know why anyone would want to, would want to remove them because it, they, they're nice and breezy and cool for those sunny days. Oh, nice. um, the wine cellar, though, is more of a destination than just a place to store a collection. Oh, it holds 500, yeah, absolutely stunning, 500 bottles. Um, it's also temper temperature controlled. It has a granite bar and terracotta flooring. And you don't see it in this picture, but there's an antique wrought iron door at the entrance. So you get that full effect. Okay, very grand. All right, Valerie, thank you. Once again, you've given us a lot to dream about until next weekend. Valerie Kellogg, Newsday's home editor, thanks for giving us an inside tour of the island's most exclusive properties. Remember, keep track of Long Island's rich cribs by reading Valerie's blog, Real LI, or follow her on Twitter. Details, news12.com, numbers and links, also more info about these homes.